In episode 8 of the 2016 Skyrim Modding Guide, we have part 1 of 2 covering mods that improve the look of your character and NPCs. We'll install Windsong Skyrim Character Overhaul, Inhabitants of Skyrim NPC Overhaul, Cover Khajiits, and the options of two mods that change the appearance of Argonians. Hey guys, it's Cal from Dirty Weasel, and in this episode we're going to discuss the beauty and character creation mods. Basically, uh, how to make your character and NPCs look better. I'd never used these before. I, I just never really wanted to get into the whole body mods and all that stuff in any of my playthroughs. And, but I felt that, you know, if I'm going to redo things, and I have a rig that can handle it, let's go ahead and look into it. And I'll tell you. It is a complex and obviously specialized field of modding. There are so many options. And I had a couple criteria when I set out. I said I wanted to kind of keep the general look of Skyrim, the, the aesthetics of it. And then I wanted to just avoid all this crazy stuff that you can do. And, and that's kind of what I looked at. And I said, you know, I want women to look like women. And for all you guys out there that are creating things with that are just unrealistic, go out and meet women, have you know relations with them, and you'll realize they don't look like what you create them in CBE, body slide, and all these other things. So, you know, but I did look at them and I kind of played around with them, and I ended up deciding on the UNP body style, and just because it, it it's fine, it didn't really have any major issues. It looked, women look like women and I'm fine with that. I don't need to go into too much, you know, detail on that. And then I started to play around with presets and race menu and kind of looking at all the different things. And basically my examination of this consisted of downloading a bunch of mods, installing a bunch of stuff and running around and looking at people with the different things and I'll put pictures up and I have things running, you know, I went and looked at this person and that person and consistently of this. And then I create a bunch of dummy characters so I could see how, you know, race menu looked with this mod versus that mod and how to create them. And it took a long time. I mean, this is a definitely a specialized field of modding. You know, there's a lot of people that put a lot of effort into creating the perfect character and are their internal imaginations of what a perfect character, mostly female, will look like. I even learned a new ter term. It's called waifu. I don't know if you know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but basically it's creating your perfect woman or your mate in gaming. And I never realized how many guys create female characters. I never have until I created Fiona. And Fiona was basically a crash test dummy. And I never realized how much people get into it. It's kind of weird, actually. So anyways, after much reading and much deciding on things and kind of playing with it and, and looking at things, I, you know, asked a few friends that were, you know, kind of into that. And they pointed me in a couple directions for the basics of you know, my criteria, I wanted to keep the basic aesthetics. I want things to look better overall, but I don't need them to, you know, go overboard and I need to make it as easy as possible for installation. So when I came and did these tutorials, it's not getting crazy. It's just not. So here's what the package I came up with. And I'm not going to show you a bunch of the, the other mods that I you know, looked at because it, this episode will be in two parts. Uni mods, there's a ton of them. I think I ended up with about 10 different mods in a package that I said, I, this is what I'm looking for and this is what looks good to me. So I can't show you everything that I looked at. You know, I love showing you examples of this versus that, but I think this is a good package. And we're going to start out, you know, I have mod organizer up and running and you know I have all my downloads and this is everything this like I said this is all the beauty mods I have planned for you guys we'll just go to the nexus and we'll start with the first one and we'll install each one in turn 
and I'll explain each one as we go along. So we go to the Nexus, and the first one that I kind of settled on is WSCO, which is the Windsong Skyrim Collect Character Overhaul. Windsong Skyrim Character Overhaul by Windsong. It has been around since 2014. It received, you know, an update recently, and it is generally impressive as for its overall package. Does it do everything perfectly? No, but it gives you a lot of things in one easy place to go. And the characters look really good. Now, just remember all these images I'll, I'll pop up and show you are theirs with EM, you know, ENBs and all these different things. But, you know, there's, you know, basic stuff. You know, that's a red guard. Okay, it looks pretty good overall. This is one that caught my eye. This is Mule, the Linus. You can see it's been a complete retexture. Face looks totally different. It looks really good. The other thing that stood out to me is the Don Guard Elf. So there's Vithor. Looks completely different. I like the aesthetic appeal of this, and it looks really nice. And there's Gelibor. Okay, so, you know, you're getting a different look there. And I like that. I appreciate that. You even get Saran in this. So what I decided was to, you know, use this and what it includes a bunch of you know race menu presets face body and hair textures okay i can't highlight that because this is a this is a, a, a jpeg high definition quality face body and hair textures and if you like the hair textures you know wind song i don't know if it's male or female sorry i don't know did a pretty good job on them and you know the default ones look pretty good enhanced dawn guard textures vampire and snow elf they look pretty good i was very impressed with that more friendly, you know, no anime looks. I like that. It didn't have any major performance issues that I could see, but it looks pretty good. You come down, they do have installation instructions, and it says if you already have CBBE or UNP or better mail mods, you're going to need to get rid of them. So just keep that in mind. I think it looks very good overall, and the package includes. Like I said, race menu presets, a number of retextures of major characters. And when we go into the files, I'll show you this. You know, the WICO poster and link, that's for an upcoming mod that's been delayed. Don't need to worry about that. There are basically six options. The main things you have to remember are there are Occidental, which means Western or European body style, and you have Oriental body style. And Oriental says looks gentle. I don't know what that means. So you've got Occidental, Oriental, Occidental, or Occidental, Occidental, Oriental, Oriental. Then you have Vanilla body, if you don't want the UNP style body. Vanilla body, CBBE, and better mailed together. UNP and better mail together. And then the Oriental section, CBBE and better mail together, and UNP and better mail body together. Okay. So those are your options. What I decided on is that since I would be going with the UNP, because it's pretty much a little more accepted overall as far as meshes and textures later on, it, there's less issue with that. I'm I'm probably going to stick with the UNP. But if you want to, you know, not worry about that and go with the vanilla body, everything will everything will fit. You don't need to worry about, you know, meshes later on. Okay? You can go with the vanilla body. So I decided on the Occidental where is it at? Occidental UNP and better male body version 1. No need main files. Don't need these. See, I keep switching up and down. UNP and better male body base looks tough. Highly recommended use with recommended mods. If you go back to the main page, he'll give you recommended recommended mods. I have different ones, and it'll probably end up in part two of the series or part two of beauty mods that'll end up there. So download that with manager, and we will install it. And it is up here at the top: WSCO Occidental UNP better male body. Okay, double click to install. And it's going to give you a full mod, and basically you can choose if you want to have female only, male only, or both. 
So if you just want the UNP body, but not the better male body, you can do that. So just keep that in mind. I decided on both. Let's just get it all in one package. So you're getting UNP and better male body. And next. Improved NPCs appearance. Now these are the NPCs that it changes. And you can see it's not that long of a list, but they look quite good. I was quite impressed with them. You know, if you got, you know, Mule there, you got Iona, Jordis, basically most of the female companions, and you've got them right there. So I have Dawn Guard, yes. And if you don't have Dawn Guard, you're not going to get the whole thing. So you need to have that. It's a separate ESP, yes, for Dawn Guard, and click next. Then you install it and activate it. When you go over to your plugins, you can see better mail. WSCO, better NPCs at the bottom, and then Occidental, better male, and Occidental, female UNP. All right, so those are your three ESPs. Now, what each of these are doing is the ESP is, you know, basically inserting the meshes and textures and the changes to those NPCs we talked about. The better male and UNP are basically the, you know, the meshes and textures needed for the male and UNP bodies. Okay, so got that done. We can uh, ignore that update because it's just the way we chose an optional file. We will now go back to the internet. I'm going to close that one down. And you remember those NPCs that I covered? It wasn't a very long list, but one of the things that it did was it did change the race menu and a lot of the presets are generating faces. So just keep that in mind. We're going to close that down. And the second model we're going to install is Inhabitants of Skyrim NPC Overhaul. Basically, this mod changes the appearance of, wow, let's go over to the My Drive and I'll show you this. This is a uh, XLL, XLS file that was included in the download section and it changes, scroll all the way down here, 713 different NPCs in the game. 713, okay? And what it's done is change them from their vanilla appearance into something else, okay? If you click on these pictures, something to keep in mind when you look at them, they don't look like this in my game, and that's fine. The hairs, there's a lot of Apache sky hairs here. There's E and B stuff going on here, and it's a very pretty picture. Your characters aren't gonna look like this, but they will look better. So just keep that in mind. So, on this one, because it overwrites so many things, I was a little concerned. And I'm going to pop up a picture of Iraleth. We all know what she looks like from the vanilla game. And this picture shows multiple shots of her with the different mods. You have vanilla, you have WSCO, which kind of looks a little strange. Kind of looks like she's, you know, basically ironed her face out. And then you have, you know, the inhabitants of Skyrim NPC overhaul, Irolath, which looks kind of rough. And then you have the combination of the two. When you have the presets from WSCO being overwritten by the textures of the NPC overhaul, she changes appearance. I mean, she looks good. I mean, it looks really good. And I was very impressed with that by Installing WSCO first and then MPC overhaul, that's what I ended up with. And everything looked really nice. And because it changes so many NPCs, I wanted to have it. But I had some concerns, and we can discover that later on. There are options on this. And remember, always read your files, okay? There are multiple versions of this, and I'll discuss that. Basically, it's a simple thing. Go back up to your files, and you have three versions. MPC Overhaul version 1, and it requires three files from the Apache Sky Hair mod. So if you go back to your description and you come down, you can see it, what they need. So just keep that in mind. For each different version, you'll need to have the Apache Sky ones or a lack thereof. So we go, let's see, I don't remember where I was. Files. So you have version one, which requires three files from the Apache Sky, read the description. Version two, which only requires two, please read the description. 
and then version 3. Does not require Apache Sky. So if you don't like Apache Sky, and I'm not a big fan, remember I want you know the kind of more you know aesthetic from the original version, I wanted this version, and that's the one I went with. So download that with Manager. When you come back into Mod Organizer, I have it down here. We're going to double click to install, manual, right click, set data directory, meshes, textures, and an ESP. Okay. I thought, well, it's going to overwrite a bunch of stuff, and I knew it would. But what was it overwriting? I didn't get a good, you know, look at that. You know, if you go into, you know, conflicts, and you look at it, it's not that many files. So I was wondering if some of the characters that this overwrote, overwrote these, because it's hard to tell from this. So what do we do? Well, we're gonna to turn to our old friend TS5 Edit, and we're gonna run it. We're gonna select none, but we are gonna come down and collect the better NPCs, and the NPC overhaul version 3.esp and click OK. Now this is pretty small. I hope you can see this. I'm still working out on how to increase the font size on TS5 Edit for you guys. So when you open both of these up and you look and you scroll down, here's all of those edits that the mod author made to NPC overhaul. You don't see that many. We're looking for something like that. So if you go and look in TS5 at it, and you can see what records have been changed. This is a Karelia. You can see that you know Skyrim ESM had those issues. WSCO made some changes to it, and then NPC Overhaul version 3.esp made some changes. You scroll down, you can see what the changes were. Mostly head parts and eyes chin, nose, that sort of thing. So we know that. What were they overriding anything from the WSCO? Okay, let's find out. And we have, actually it's this one. It only overwrites three of the characters. In other words, NPC overhaul only write, overwrites three of the characters provided with new meshes and textures by WSCO. That's Subiel Stentor, Hurt, and Karelia. All right, why it didn't show up in the first one, I don't know. But like Mule, who had that appearance changed so dramatically, has not been changed by NPC overhaul. But Sibyl Stentor has. So it's just one way to keep track of these things. And you can, you know, learn how to do this. This is all basic TS5 edit stuff, so you can go and see what's there. Close that down. That's just one way of seeing stuff. That's kind of... The kind of stuff I want to know. I don't need those backups. Yeah, thank you very much. And close it down. So there you go. That's what you have. Now ESPs on this, plugins. You can go ahead and run loot on this. I didn't see any big issues when I ran it the first time. We'll run it now just to see what it does. When it overrode it, it kind of mixed them up a little bit. I didn't think that was any big issue. At least not in plain, it didn't change anything. Apply. I'm going to say kind of move things around a little bit. Not a big deal. Uh, I would probably go ahead and leave it the way it is. And with that in mind, if that's the case, change them around. But I would probably do this. That's what I would do in overriding. So the character presets, the appearance presets, will carry over to Inhabitants of Skyrim. All right, so you can move things around if you like. Put this back. Put an exception into loot so we'll fix it later. I'm fine with the way it is. So there's that. We're gonna put this back to SKSE and we will move on. Go back to the Nexus. Now we've got it happens to Skyrim installed. I think everything will look really nice. I had no major issues. Uh, just so you know what Fiona looked like. I created Fiona early on. I installed the BSCO and there's a picture of her, the second picture shows what she looks like with, you know, just WSC overriding her. And then I went back into race menu and I recreated her and that's what she looks like with the proper presets.
something to keep in mind is that when you are when you create WSCO in your load order, any characters you may have seen before may be irrevocably changed. If you go in, if you don't have a new save, characters you've seen before may not look the way you expect them to. Just keep that in mind. So on to our next mod. And it's covered Khajiits by Mr. Lenski. WSCO and NPC overhaul do not affect Khajiits. And I wanted to give you a mod that you know, improve their appearance a bit. And you can see before and after pictures, low res textures, looks like it's kind of just someone's taken a smudge brush to his face. This looks really good. And this seemed to be the consensus mod for improving Khajiit faces. It's a little involved in installation, but not too bad. Go to your files. And if you're wondering, I did create a Khajiit just to see the difference in myself. You can, you know, you can see that picture right there. There are two files here, Cover Khajiit's female version, Cover Khajiit's male version. Download both of these so that when you go into Mod Organizer, go to your downloads, and we need to start hiding stuff here. We're going to hide, remove from view on that, and remove from view on that. Let's start cleaning this up a bit. So Cover Khajiit, you can see there was one right there, and there's one right here. I would suggest just selecting whatever's on top and it doesn't really matter the way you do it. Double click to install your first one. It's going to give you covers of Khajiits. Manual, set data directory on top, data, do it again. I'll show you the other way of doing it and it's textures. Okay, just textures and click OK. And you have covered Khajiits. Go back and install the other one. If you did female first, do the male next. Double click to install, manual, and you can see it's still covered Khajiits. Khajiit mail, data, set data directory on top, textures, looks good. Now, when you click OK, you're going to get a message saying, do you want to merge them? Yes, we want to merge them. So, cover Khajiits is its own mod. Double click to open it up, go to your file tree, and you can have textures, actors, character, Khajiit female, Khajiit male. Done. That mod is over and done with. It is installed correctly. So that's cover Khajiits. Now your Khajiits are looking much more fluffy and pretty. I never, I don't play Khajiits. I don't know why. Something about the way they speak. I can't put myself into their position. So I'll remove that from view and we will remove that from view. I wanted to help out the... Argonians as well. And I came to a quandary. There are two main mods that, you know, people said were really good. And Jazz JR Argonian Retexture by Jazz JR. It seems to be very well received. Um, the only problem is there's not a lot of pictures. You can't really get a good look because the pictures are all so crummy. And I was wondering what they look like in real life. And I'm going to pop up a picture here. I ran, just generated a, a character outside of Barkarth. That looks good. He looks scaly and very reptilian, but he's kind of on the dark side. So just keep that in mind. But it does look very nice. So you've got two, well, three. You have Jazz JR Argonia Retexture HD. This is the HD version. 2048 by 2048. You have a light version, retexture light, and then you have a retexture bright light. In other words, he doesn't look, they don't look as dark. You know, the picture I showed you was pretty dark. So this is the brighter version. It's not as dark looking overall. So pick the one you want. It doesn't really make that much of a difference. And then you have a bright version. I think bright HD, probably a bit much. Okay. So just keep that in mind. So I chose the retexture light and I'm going to go back into Mod Organizer, download that with Manager and Jazz JR Argonian Light. So double click to install. This is a fairly straightforward manual, set data directory, textures, and a readme. We don't need readmes. Thanks though, JR. So install and activate. Okay. No ESPs, just all textures. 
We don't want that in there right now. We're just going to leave it where it is and we're going to remove the mod, but I wanted you to see it, give you options because it's all about options with me. All right, and the last mod we're gonna look at in part one here is FAR, Forgotten Argonian Roots. You know, the other one was, you know, okay, but I really like this one. And, you know, there because there's a difference, there's a difference in the two as far as male and female. And I really do like these, you know, they, the female kind of has a, like a snake-like skin to her. And the male has a lot more of the kind of scaly plates on him. It looks more like a crocodile. I like that. And then there's another picture I want to show you on this is that on females, I want you to keep this in mind. You have the main texture, the cobra texture, and then the anaconda. You know, the cobra's got this little like hood on her neck, but there's no paint on her body. And anaconda's got these little squiggly lines, I guess like a like an anaconda would. You get the idea. And safe for work, I'm, I appreciate that they did that for me. So main cobra anaconda. Just keep that in mind. We'll come back to that. So when you scroll down, take a look at it. I I do like these a lot. There is a video if you want to see it. I think this one's by Brodul. And uh, if you want to get a good look at it, you can. I'm not going to put up any pictures of it. I just enjoyed it. And besides, I somehow deleted the pictures. So not going to go back and do it. On files on this one, there's a couple things I want to point out to you. There is a 2K version and a 4K version. I think 4K is probably excessive. Besides, it's 220,000 kilobytes. The all-in-one light 2K retexture for Argonians, README included. Okay, it's the 2K version. These updates, I didn't find that the problems that they were fixing were that big of a deal. So I just... Ignore them. I think that the, the textures of the 2K are fine. I don't see any problems there. Optional files, photo real like eyes. If you want to see those eyes, you can kind of see them right here. They look pretty good. Uh, I will probably go ahead and use these as a eye replacer in part two. So if you're, while you're here, if you want to go ahead and get those, download that with manager, you can. But we're just going to go ahead and get the 2K Forgotten Argonian Roots down low with Manager. Let's go into Mod Organizer and we'll take a look and we'll finish this up. Forgotten Argonian Roots. Oh, this thing, I'll tell you. Double click to install and we're going to open this up because we'll, we will need to. I took a long time trying to figure out how to get this to work correctly and it took a quite some time. Number one, we don't need a readme text. We can just get rid of that. It doesn't really matter. Uh, no one glowing skins. We don't need that. And I want you to take a look first at the males. And you have a better male's body. That's what we're using through uh, WSCO. So we will need that. We'll, the default body, if you're using the vanilla body, that's the one that in the SOS version. Whatever that is. I don't really care. Better male's body. We open this up. Textures. Actors, character, Argonian male, and there's all the textures. Okay, but we're going to close this down and we're going to take a look at the females. You know, you think, okay, well, this shouldn't be too bad. And then you come into this. You got CBBE, the vanilla body, and UNP. We're using UNP, so we'll open that up and take a look. Main, textures, actors, character, Argonian female. Okay, so it looks just like the male. But then you come over and take a look at this, skin patterns. Well, we have textures here and textures over there. And then you have some textures in here as well. This is, this is why I, it was driving me crazy. So for the anaconda bloodline, so that's the ones with the squiggles on the body, you have two other textures here. I'll open this up even more so you can see the darn thing. Female body dot DDS, female body dot DDS. Okay. When playing with this, and you have the same thing for Cobra, just that it doesn't have the body, it just has the head. Okay, the head. We'll close these down for the time being. While playing with this, there is no good way of clicking these so you can get all the textures from this because you could take you know, Argonian, you know, the textures and put them in here. But 
there's no good way of doing it. I could just move them around a little bit, but if you want to get the different skin patterns, it's not very friendly. So this is what I decided to do. I'm going to go ahead and close all these again. And we are going to go ahead and leave the male better body. So we know that the textures for the males are in here. Let's go ahead and close these down to this point. So we have the textures, male better body. And we have males. Set data directory. Excuse me. See, I, I did this a bunch of times. I just kept messing it up. Forgotten our Grodina roots. Males. Better male's body, textures, actors, character, Argonian male. What I decided to do was set data directory, textures. Now it looks good. So you know this is the male one. This is the easier of the two to install. You're going to go ahead and click OK on this. Forgot no Argonian roots. There it is. So we'll go ahead and activate that. You know what's in here is basically the male textures. That's This is the file structure that we're looking at. If you want to see these, you can right click and open. Whatever you're using for your paint program, there it is. So that's one way of doing that. So that's what's in that mod. To do the females, it's going to take a little bit more work. And this is probably why I, I decided to break it up. So, you know, you weren't mixing things up too much. Forgotten on your Argonia roots, double click to install again. And we will go back to where we started. But here is what you're going to have to do. Let's open this up so you can actually see all this stuff once we start expanding things. Females. UNP body or CBB, whatever you're using. Main. Textures. Actors. Character. Argonian female. These are the different textures. And you can do the same thing here if you want to, you know, open whatever your paint program is, it'll open it up for you. So this is the default plain texture for the body. If you want to see the head, which is a good representation, right click on it, open. That's the head. You don't see any squiggles here. Then you come down to the skin patterns. You have the Anaconda bloodlines and the Cobra bloodlines. And the Cobra Bloodlines has just the female head.dds. Take a look at it. Open it up. You see that little hood that's underneath her neck. That's what you're looking at right there. So you know you have that texture. But you notice on the Cobra Bloodlines, there's only one. And that's going to correspond with Argonian female head.dds. Argonian head.dds is right here. Right? This is the default one. This is the plane. This is the Cobra hood on the neck version because it's Cobra bloodlines. Under Anaconda, there are two. You have female body DDS and female head DDS. We already looked at the head before. Here's the body one just for an example. Open that up. And you see the squiggles on the torso right there. So that's just how you're looking at things. If you don't have a program to open that up, I would suggest getting something simple like paint.net. It's free. It's on the internet. Paint.net. So, when you try to do this, I would go ahead, make your choices. If you want the vanilla, you can just go ahead and leave this plane. You would right-click on main, set data directory, and it would do it for you. If you want to go ahead and put the anaconda bloodlines, you're going to have to replace some files. And my suggestion is, and you can do this with Cobra Bloodlines, but you're only going to have to do it once, is go ahead, femalebody.dds, femalebody.dds, deactivate the plain one, move the femalebody.dds up into this directory. So now you got two. If you want to double check it, right click, open it, there's your squiggles. So you've now put the anaconda texture inside the vanilla. And then do the same thing with female head.dds. And female head.dds is right there. Deactivate and move this up. And the reason why you're deactivating these 
if you have two of the same thing in there, it won't know which one to choose. It will choose the one that came first in the directory. And you won't know what it is. So there you go. So when you right click on main, set data directory, textures looks good. And you click OK, and you're going to merge it in. There you go. So now when you double click on this, open it up to your file tree, textures, actors, character, Argonian female. Now you have the Argonian female and the Argonian male all in the same directory. If you open this up even further, you can double check female body. This should have the squiggles on it. Right click, open. There's your squiggles. So did you get that? I hope you did. It's kind of confusing. It took me a while to get this so it actually would work correctly because you had so many files overwriting and it just wouldn't work correctly the way the file structure was. So I had to come up with a way of hashing it out and putting it together so it works correctly. But it does work and that's the beauty of it. So like I said, with this setup, you're going to have the Anaconda squiggles, but if you wanted to just have the Cobra squiggles, you're just going to have to do it once with the female head.dds. And the Argonia mail was simple, easy one to install. There's nothing, no real options for that. Go ahead and close that down. And that's it. There's Forgotten Argonian Roots. You can see it's, it's overwriting something on Winsong. Not a big deal. I looked at it before. It's not any issue. There are no plugins associated with that. So you're all good. Now, Part two. Part two will be covering a bunch of other stuff. And we'll get rid of, we can go ahead and remove from you. Forgot how to go near your roots. It's going to cover eyes, beards, hair, heights. Like this is, what is it? Uh, height adjusted races. It's because I thought that, you know, maybe a Breton should be a lot shorter than a Nord. Just me. Okay. That's what I thought. So there's that. And these mods are going to be basically be to complement what's in this. Windsong is going to take care of a lot of it. And their textures for hair and beards and all that stuff are very good. But if you want to, you know, make them even better, get into part two and I'll go through my personal choices on this. And these are all basically nothing more than just texture mods. That's it for now. Part one is over. That's the main issue. So you've got your player character, NPCs, Khajiits, and Argonians all covered. That's it. So I hope you're enjoying the series. I certainly am. My name is Cal. I'm from Dirty Weasel, and I'm signing off.